I'm gonna get something. Oh crap! YouTube video. We're installing a mesh grill on the Cayman. It's not like the 911 guys at all. You have to either remove the bumper or do it this way. So stick around while I give you tips on how I did it and how you can do it too. So if you're a 987 owner, Porsche owner, you know there's these front grills. Unless you have a GT3, stuff gets in here. You can't really see it because of the camera, but there's leaves in there. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that the easy way. So you know how they say no ding squad and you park far away so you don't get your car hit? Well, I'm lazy, so I park as close as possible. That's the straight up lazy squad. Dude, how do people find stuff here? It's freaking huge. God damn, Home Depot is huge. 30 minutes later, but I got the stuff. Let's roll. All right, we got the supplies needed, guys. We're gonna get some kind of mesh grill. I like this like, hexagonal pattern I got on this one. Super easy install, guys. Plastic dip, favorite color, and zip ties. First thing that needs to happen is you gotta make a rough template. I used a piece of cardboard, and you're gonna get a mirror image up for the other side. But I got the rough template in, now I'm just gonna adjust, try to make it a little bit better fitting, and we'll go from there. Now we got a better fitting, slightly, and you guys can't probably tell the difference, but it's more, a little more precise than it was before. This is key, guys. It takes, if you spend the time making this perfect, you won't struggle later. I, I, this is my second time going at it, and the first time out, it was super hard, but this is the key. Make a really good template. All right, got the shapes done. Looks like freaking kindergarten arts and crafts here, though. Look at all the mess I made. But got the correct shape. It's very important that you guys focus on the shape. It's the most important part of this whole thing. So let's go on to the next step. Get your template done. Next step, guys. This area right here, let me zoom it in for you a little bit. This area, oh, my arm's in the way. This, this area right here is where you need a tape. Right here, this is where it's all gonna go through. One quick tip I have for you guys is to use your template that you have and practice getting it through here. Practice putting it in because you want to try that as many times as possible before you actually do your, your install. This is what it should look like on either side. Protected. I'm going to try my hardest to not get in the way, but here we go. First, you want to position it like this. Right, this is how it's going to go. You turn it, and it's going to go in through that little hole I told you guys. So just slide it in. Then I'm gonna try my best to get out of the way for this guys, but it's kind of hard to show, but slide it in through, through this little hole. And we're gonna get enough space. Let me get from the other side of the camera. Okay, like that. Use your other hand to kind of maneuver it in. Now it's in. We got it in. We got the grill in. Now you just gotta get your needle nose pliers to grab it and pull it into position. There's no crazy tricks here guys. Just position it as best as you can. Now that you have it in position like this guys, you're gonna want to look in here and see where it's catching so you can do some final little trims on it. Pause from the install. Check out what happened in our neighborhood. That's right. Somebody crashed their BMW into their front garage. That happened. The grill's in place. Now we just have to fasten it with some zip ties. I took off the tape here. You guys can see the grills there. I'm gonna place zip ties 
in different spots. At the end of this video, after I place these zip ties, I'm gonna show you the final product and give you tips on what I learned from this and after my second time going at it because it was a little challenging. So stick around to the end. I'll show you guys where I place my zip ties and place as many or as little as you want. Don't be afraid of what it's gonna look like because trust me, you don't see them. I'll show you the final product. So I thought I'd end the video with some tips, guys, that I learned from doing this install. You guys can see my dog, the one that was sick right there. I'll show you guys a close-up. He looks like a horror film dog right now. But if you're a daily commuter with your Porsche, I really recommend this, this modification I just did. It protects your radiator, protects debris from getting in there and getting stuck. I did not want to pay the $600 to $1,000 for a custom grill that would have to remove the bumper, which is definitely a possibility if you don't like the zip ties or if you don't like the way it looks or to have a plastic in there, I recommend you go with the other more expensive option. I'm going to use the other option to th that money to fix my exhaust or wrap my car or get new wheels. So that's why I did this. As you guys can tell at the beginning of this video, I started with steel wiring. I do not recommend it for this modification because you're gonna cut up the inside of the plastic no matter how well you tape it, and your hands are gonna take a big hit from it. Really recommend that you guys make your template as close as possible, and when you actually cut your trimming, make it a little smaller than your template so that it can squeeze in there better. I also do not recommend you guys use plastic dip like I first started using, because when you're squeezing the stuff in there, it's, it, it peels off, like even how much you spray it, it's real easy for it to just peel off. So Plasti Dip, I do not recommend. I would not do the steel or aluminum, though I have seen it done and it's possible for me. After trying it and failing a couple times and scratching my car, I do not recommend it. I went with the plastic. It's, it's plastic anyways in that area, so it's not like it looks cheap as you guys can tell from the video. So those are a few tips. As always, like, if you like the video, follow me on Instagram, guys, and on Snapchat. On Snapchat, it's UCTeeth. On Instagram, it's UCTeeth10. Now, let me show you the cyborg dog. Check out. He's been through surgery, guys. Seen some rough battles.